Greetings my friends welcome to another episode of Pokemon Go I know you are perplexed by the fact that there have been so many changes in the last 24 hours so many new info is being added over social media over uh, reddit over pokemon go hub and a hell lot of information is being revealed but sit back and relax uh, so in this video i'll tell you all the things you need to know about the gym rework and the changes that have happened to game right now so a hell lot of information has been discovered in the game so let me start quickly by things that have actually put in place so the first thing is poke stops have been converted to gyms not all remember not all some poke stops have been converted to gyms this is because uh, now poke gyms will only hold a maximum of 6 defenders earlier they used to have 10 defenders now they will only hold 6 defenders to make up for the loss of those four pokemon they are adding more gyms so either new gyms are being added or the existing poke stops are turning into gyms not all but some and it is also being reported that people in rural areas are getting new gyms so that's a good news thank you niantic for this next the gyms are already down and they are under construction like i told in the previous video and the gym defenders have returned with full health i guess that was on the cards next spawn points have been shuffled i already told in the vi previous video interesting change hit boxes have been changed for wild encounter the last time this happened uh, that was uh, right before generation 2 launched so some pokemon started standing closer to the screen and some started standing farther not only that but hit boxes have been changed so today i was catching a weedle and the circle was so small that it is even getting a nice throw would, was unimaginable so let alone getting an excellent throw and another thing that is being added to the game is niantic servers will remember unique pokestop visits that means pokestops that you have never visited there will be a ring over it that's all and another line has been detected on pokemon go website that is catch a wide variety of pokemon including some that have never been seen before at chicago fest this is a great chance to fill in some gaps in your pokedex so this could probably mean that legendary pokemons will be spawning at chicago fest shiny pokemon are being speculated right after solstice event ends by the time you are watching this video solstice event is almost over and we'll probably know if there are shinies detected so keep an eye out on silfrod reddit and social media to see if shinies are actually spawning or not the reason why we say that is because today afternoon uh, there were some tweaks to model size in the pokemon uh, pokemon sizes were increased drastically so that snorlax or executor stood pretty high that it could almost map the entire screen the next team evolution leaked it team evolution said that after the solstice event ends there will be a surprise from niantic and the third reason why we think so is because the sprites in current ghastly has turned blue it's with blue eyes now uh, the last time the color of sprites was changed was right before shiny magic arp was released so you never know we already know that the shiny code is already there in the game they just need to flip the switch probably they were testing for this much period we don't know they might not come at all is just our speculation and another big update a big big statistical update analytical update 
is master file has been changed and a lot of information has been changed so stab if you don't know stab let me explain it quickly same type attack bonus so pokemon with same type and same attack would get some advantage earlier but that has been now reduced from 1.25 to 1.2 that's a good change because it was being discussed a lot over social media by analysts and that's a good change the next thing super effective damage has been increased from 1.25 to 1.4 and that's a cool change because super effective did not have that much of significance early on but now it does matter resistance changed from 0.8 to 0.714 that's another interesting change and immunity change from 0.8 to 0.51 so in case you don't know what immunity and resistance differ in let me tell you quickly both probably mean the same outside of pokemon go but in pokemon go uh, immunity is just stronger type of resistance let me give you quickly the list check the link in the description below i have added the information stab plus super effective bonus will be 1.68 as opposed to 1.56 double super effective is now 1.96 instead of 1.56 that's almost double almost double of the original damage stab plus double super effective is massively 2.352 what that means is if you have a pokemon with double weakness that's going to be a poor defender so that includes Rhydon, Dragonite, Tyranitar and Gyarados. These will be weak defenders now because they have double weakness to some type or the other. And double resistance is now 0.501. That's almost half the original damage. Golden Raspberry may be a 2.5 catch multiplier compared to the 1.5 of a normal Raspberry. So that's a significant increase in the catch rate or other success rate. And Nana Berries are now more effective. The attack or dodge rate from the Pokemon after Nana Berry changed from 0.3 to 0.05. That means Nana Berries are now 6 times stronger than what they used to be. Let's move on to the announced gym overhaul and what Niantic has revealed on Pokemon Go official website. So I'm linking all those articles in the description below. Check them out for full articles. But let me discuss the highlights. So now you can spin gym discs for items just like you used to spin Pokestops. Woo, that's interesting. And more potions and revives will be likely to be dropped from those gym discs. Instead of Pokeballs, there will be more odds of getting potions and revives. And you will earn bonus items when visiting gyms controlled by your team. Ooh. If you have a badge for the gym you are visiting, you will earn additional bonus items as well that's just more items so in case you don't know what a gym badge is i'm discussing later in this video now open gyms so this is a situation where pokemon gym is claimed by no team so if there is an open gym uh, there are some things to know you can place uh, your pokemon there up uh, up to six pokemon can be placed in the gym so there is a single space limit that means if you already see a uh, Lapras in the gym, you cannot place any more Lapras. And there will be motivation meter related to every Pokemon you place in the gym. And motivation will decay over time and also after defeating from the attackers. And when uh, the motivation meter drops to zero, Pokemon will return to you, will return to the trainer. Motivation meter can be checked remotely. That's another a uh, very good feature implemented by Niantic and first in first out will be the method by which Pokemon will be ordered that means the longer the Pokemon stays in the gym it will be the first one to battle against an opposition team and also an interesting news is that stronger Pokemon generally lose motivation more quickly than those that are not as strong we don't know what exactly strong means it could be the pokemon with high cp will tend to lose more motivation 
if that is the case low cp pokemon will be more viable in gyms now the gym you are visiting is, belongs to your team then the only thing you can do is feed them berries for stardust and xp so by feeding uh, nana berry pineapple berry or even raspberry the motivation meter for the defender pokemon will be increased not only you can feed it for your own defenders but you can also feed it for your fellow teammates and you will get stardust and xp for that nana berry raspberry and pineapple berry will increase the motivation by the same amount except for golden raspberries that will restore the motivation meter fully and whenever a pokemon is knocked out by an opposition there will be a 10 minute cooldown before a new pokemon can be placed in the gym and defender bonus is completely changing now you no longer need to collect coins every 21 hours now there will be a push notification as soon as the motivation meter reaches 0 for a pokemon and you get it back so it will return with some poke coins depending on how long it was in the gym you need to increase the motivation for your defender to make it stay longer in the gyms and 100 coin limit per day is still valid which means that if you have multiple pokemon return to you in a single day the maximum you can get is 100 Now let's move on to gym badges. So uh, every Pokemon gym will now award badges to the trainers visiting. So there are four tiers of gym badges: basic, bronze, silver, and gold. So these gym badges can be leveled up by visiting them frequently, by feeding berries to the Pokemon, by battling it frequently, and staying in the gym longer as a defender. So in any case, the more you interact. the more will be your level with respect to that gym badge the gyms around your neighborhood will more likely be at a higher level for your gym badge now opposition gyms so if you encounter an opposition gym you can attack it like you used to after each round you win you have the option to continue to the next round or end the battle to you ending the battle is something very cool because you'll no longer get that extra hits even if you don't want to battle it so that's cool we exactly do not know how this motivation will be calculated motivation formula is not known at the moment but we'll get to that as soon as that is revealed as a pokemon loses motivation its cp will decrease too but that's temporarily for sure it's temporary decrease in cp making it weaker in battle and that means the next time an opposition team Uh, rather an attacker ba- battles the defender its cp will be decreased not sure by how much margin so that's pretty much how gyms will work now another beta feature is being launched gym raids and this beta feature will only be available to certain gyms and certain trainers that probably means higher level trainers in certain areas we do not know what areas they'll be picking for this uh, raids can be seen on nearby so raids you can see raids around you through the nearby tab so there will be another tab alongside pokemon that is nearby for raids through nearby raid tab you can see gyms in your vicinity that have an upcoming raid and there will be a countdown egg over the top of the gym with an unrevealed powerful raid boss yes there will be a raid boss hiding under that egg and when the countdown reaches 0 it will be revealed and the raid will start the raid will last for 1 hour and you get 5 minutes per attempt to beat that raid boss and it's according to the screenshots it will be at least 20000 to 25000 cp and i have also read one article where it said that there was a uh, charizard as a raid boss with 13 or 14000 cp you can battle with as many trainers as you want up to 20 20 is the limit for maximum number of trainers that can take part in a raid and there will be some difficulty level for gym raids 
that will vary from 1 to 5 there will be a thing called raid pass and premium raid pass raid pass can be purchased once a day by spinning gym discs and they, you can only hold one raid pass at a time if you want to participate in more raids you'll have to purchase premium raid pass through poke coins and private raids can be battled with only with a group code so if you have a friend that and you are not comfortable battling with nearby trainers that are strangers to you you can set up your own group and have the raid battle privately with a unique group code so during battle with the raid boss you can free anytime to give your pokemon revives and potions just to heal them that's pretty good and after the raid boss is defeated uh, you will be rewarded with golden raspberries tms and rare candy so let me go through quickly what the, these items are golden raspberries is probably going to increase the odds of catching a pokemon by 2.5 that's a massive increase let me tell you uh, or golden raspberries can be fed to pokemon in your friendly gym to restore the motivation meter of the defender fully and tm mechanism that enables you to change attacks of your pokemon that means if you have a very good iv pokemon but unfortunately it got very bad moves then this is a very good chance for you to re-roll the moves and get another move set randomly so fast tms are for changing the fast move of the pokemon charged tms are for changing the charged move and rare candies can be converted to candies of any pokemon especially that's useful for pokemon that you don't see frequently for example pokemon like snorlax chansey porygon they are very rare so you can use rare candies to power them up or evolve them to catch the raid boss you can only use premier pokeballs that will only be given to you after defeating the gym raid boss you cannot use ultra balls or great balls by for catching raid boss but you can still feed berries to the pokemon and also it will no longer be having that 20000 or 25000 cp but it is known that or rather it is being rumored that it will be difficult to catch and it will have strong ivs this information its explanation but it's being discussed we do not have confirmation over it and that is it guys hope you guys were enlightened by this video and got to know what's coming to pokemon go and what's not so leave it a like if you like this video and subscribe to my channel and please let me know if i missed anything in the comment section below thanks for watching